Thank you for eight minutes to describe to you what we are doing at Yale Arts Collective and how that will socially impact the future and our communities, neighborhoods, and social justice issues. Yale Arts Collective is dedicated to the creative empowerment of women and families. We have a variety of core values, intergenerational collaboration, arts-based learning, group-centered leadership, and arts-based entrepreneurship. Mainly, we believe in access to the arts for all. Now, right now, we're focusing on mental health, creativity, leadership development, and social and community engagement to impact a stronger social justice-based alternative economy for people in the urban environment of St. Louis City. As you can see, St. Louis is a beautiful place. However, we have folks who have and are living with a 26% unemployment rate. Unfortunately, we know that in our communities, we are assets and resources to all folks and all civilizations. And therefore, we wanna honor that through creative activity, group-centered leadership, nutrition, health, wellness, and mental health. Currently, we collaborate with many different types of artists. As you see here, these are two paintings done by myself, Dale Chambers, who are past collective members who died in their mid-30s due to complications with their brain, both having an aneurysm-like um, illness that caused their death. Both Sepizo Mani and Ennis Newman work past collective members who we like to honor in our space. Our space right now is partially a lending library for community members to engage with books that are radical, social just, basic knowledge, uh, literature, and more. We, be we believe by exposing folks to this lifestyle of literacy engagement that we're able to help support those who have questions about history, culture, understanding art, and more, just by reading in public, just by being a part of this larger community and doing what we do in a public way. As you see here, we have various artists who are featured in our collective gallery. Each artist is able to sell their work. 30% of the fees of the money goes back to our nonprofit mission. Again, Yayo Arts Collective is dedicated to the creative empowerment of women and families. We honor people of color. We were founded by people of color, women of color, mostly single mothers of all ages, working in St. Louis who were unable to get exposure because of many of the sex, race, and class issues that we deal with living in a city with 26% unemployment rate for African Americans. This is a work from Aaron McMullen, who is a white, white ally in our organization, who does a group called Check Your Privilege for those of us who are not people of color, but would like to engage in a cooperative economic model that is group-centered and focused on people of color. Everyone has a place and a role in transformation. This area is where we ring out. One of our beautiful things that we've done in the past is that we've rewritten the Mother's Day proclamation that many Feminists Know by Julia Ward Howe. This is a very important document and statement and manifesto for feminist in American history. We rewrote our version with a intergenerational group called Mother's Day for Peace at our former location, Gaia, in 2011. We attempt to honor the truth and representation. We understand that mental health is at the forefront of issues when we're re-envisioning 
what a socially just space, a safe space looks like. This is a collaborative mural that's still in progress that our collective members are working on, on our back door. We're also working on an animation. And we have our strategic plan 